Ooh. YouTube. Long, long time. A very long time. I hope everybody's good. Um, just took a random notion. Um, thought I'd make another video and just do a checkup. See how everyone is doing. I know I never really engaged much uh, in the YouTube pipe community, but um, and also uh, it's been a major changing of the tide as far as who's making videos. There's a lot of new people on the YouTube pipe community. A lot of good people making pipe videos, pipe related videos, talking about their favorite pipes and cigars. <laughs> So I just realized that uh, you may be seeing a mirrored image. I'm using my Mac here to do a video, and I've got the I've got the mic, so I don't have to yell. So I just want to do a quick checkup, let everybody know I'm still alive. Every now and then I get random comments. Uh, I I still have a couple of hundred subscribers, which is fascinating. But I do, I get comments asking how I'm doing, if I'm still alive. Yes, I'm still alive, and you'll notice a change of scenery. That's because uh, I relocated, I'm living in a different state right now. Uh, still, still in the south, right? Um, I, I used to live in East Tennessee, uh, and I'll move back to East Tennessee soon. Um, but quick uh, transfer to a different state, still in the south, uh, for school related reasons. So different scenery, and I thought, I actually do have something to talk about that's pipe related. I thought I would uh, do a shout out and um, a quick, quick review just of a tobacco that I have always wanted to try, never got my hands on because it's kind of it's one of those tobaccos that you can't find much of and that's because it's made by Germain which uh, if you're a fan of Penzance or really if you're a fan of English Latakia tobaccos you know Penzance um, Germain if I've got it correctly Germain is sort of the company that makes esoterica blends Right, so it's released under Germain or, or by Germain, which is in uh, it's, it's a British pipe company or pipe tobacco company. And this is special Latakia Flake by Germain. Um, I had heard it reviewed as being comparable to uh, Penzance. So um, I went to a couple of websites and put a rem or added my email to a list that sends out notifications when it gets in stock and having an iPhone you get emails and you can immediately go buy that to that tobacco blend once it gets back in stock so I did that for special Latakia Flake um, I'm about halfway through well, I'm not even halfway through maybe a quarter of the way through this tin um, and it's not as good as Penzance I'll say that I was expecting something a little closer to Penzance uh, and it's just not the same. I think this is much more oriental forward. And Penzance is maybe more Latakia forward, maybe. It's just not the same. It's still good. I've heard a lot of people describe Germain and Esoterica blends as just having a nice aged quality. Um, and there's something about British-based English blends like Germain, which is actually a British company, and I guess like Dunhill used to be, and the Dunhill formula is still British because Dunhill is British, but you guys know they're not made in the UK anymore. I think it's made by um, Orlik, right, which is Danish. So anyways, it's, it's good, um, but for those of you who, uh, I, I did a review of Penzance years ago, and I've since run out of that same... Penzance blend. I bought it at the time. I bought it in, a, in an eight ounce bulk package, and uh, it did last me several years. And I didn't smoke it all the time. I don't smoke in general all the time. Um, 
it really my smoking ebbs and flows right now uh, it's it's flowing more than it's ebbing because I've got some time off and a lot of the work that I'm doing I can do here at home and the weather's nice it's just now getting warm so I am smoking more and I finished off that Penzance and so I immediately went into I immediately asked myself what did I do because I finished off all the Penzance and it was just amazing there's nothing like Penzance so I went looking for anything that could along with signing up for notifications for when Penzance comes in stock which by the way is not a sure thing I did get a notification that Penzance was back in stock and it was an email and I, I literally opened the email not even 10 minutes after it was sent to me went to the website Penzance sold out so it's just how hard you would think that they would make more of it because the demand is so high but maybe it's the kind of you know for forbidden fruit thing where you know like with Cuban cigars you can't have it so everybody wants it more uh, and that was kind of how Dunhill was too for a while when they went out of production um, about five or six years ago they, they kind of went to a dry spell before they came back with Orlick same thing people just wanted it and maybe it would be the same if they if Jermaine did that with their tobaccos but it's still I, I don't even think that would be the case because Penzance is just so good it's just got a good dark rich earthy taste it's nothing like it um, so I tried I tried this I keep holding it up I think it's a cool looking cool looking package it does smell similar to Penzance but it just doesn't taste the same it's more oriental forward uh, and you can just even looking at the 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 tobacco itself it's much brighter the, the leaves are much brighter it's like that yellow tint that oriental tobaccos have but if you get a chance to get it try it it's still a good tobacco it, it is it's, it's good um, it's got a good spice from the orientals so try it if you can find it but it is not Penzance um, so I've been smoking through that and then another thing that I've been smoking a lot of lately and I want to give a, a shout out to it because it comes from a little brick and mortar shop uh, in East Tennessee in Gatlinburg which a lot of people know of as a little sort of foot of the mountains town it's, it's, a, it's, it's a tourist town let's just call it what it is it's a little tourist town um, so the foothills of the Great Smoky Mountains uh, which is you know, East Tennessee, North Carolina. And if you're ever in Gatlinburg, go by, uh, it's actually, it's called the Gatlin, Gatlin Burlier Tobacconist is what it says. Um, but if you're ever in Gatlinburg, go by the local tobacco shop in, in Gatlinburg. It's hard to miss because Gatlinburg is pretty small. And um, you know, most of their blends are as with most other brick and mortar shops that the quality is normally not there like it is with a tin tobacco but there's this one blend that they offer called Cades Cove Cavendish named after you know, the destination in the Smokies Cades Cove Cavendish um, ask for Cades Cove Cavendish if you're ever in Gatlinburg in Tennessee heading to the Smokies maybe to do some maybe a weekend camping with your family or what have you go by the Gatlinburg tobacconist and get you some Cades Cove Cavendish and I've I've never been there personally I have friends who you know because uh, where I used to live in, in Knoxville it's really not that far from Gatlinburg it's about 45 minutes to an hour away and I have friends who go there for various reasons throughout the year and so I have them buy it for me so I've never been there Maybe I've been there once, but I, I can't remember. But I do know that there's a, an, an old fella who owns the place, and he's probably going to be the one there. And I don't know his name, but I'm, I've heard that he's a really nice guy. Um, helpful old dude. And uh, tell him you want a couple of ounces of Cades Cove Cavendish. Uh, you won't be disappointed. What is it? It's basically a straight Virginia, maybe a Virginia Cavendish. 
it's got it reminds me of McClellan's 5100 which is their red cake All right so I'm, I'm assuming can't really tell by looking at it but I'm assuming that um, it's got some red Virginias in it and it's obviously got Cavendish Virginias but it's really good it's not overly sweet it actually burns pretty good it's not too wet it is a little bit wat but so just a shout out to the Gatlinburg Tobacconist if you're ever for any reason visiting Gatlinburg um, go by the Gatlinburg Tobacconist pay them a visit give them some business uh, and I, I think you'll like the blend it's actually really good so anyways I always wanted to make quicker videos and I'm just not good at it I see we're at 10 minutes already so um, yeah that's it just an update I'm doing good I'm getting work done up here and um, special at Kiev Lake if you can get it give it a try it's no Penzance but it's 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 still pretty good and then um, Kate's Cove Cavendish right, so if you're ever in Gatlinburg uh, doing some sightseeing going to the mountains stop by the Gatlinburg tobacconist Gatlin Burlier tobacconist is what it's actually called but I'm sure you can just google tobacconist in Gatlinburg and this will come up Gatlin Burlier tobacconist and get you some Kate's Cove Cavendish and give them some business and I think you'll like it it's a it's a good good quality so all right hope everyone's doing well I'll catch you next time